Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. Anyways, great topics tonight. The first one is ironic because just two days ago on a conference call, I was talking to a coworker about, you know, you always move movie, movie lines and quotes, and I used a lot of Boondock Saints quotes. And then a day afterwards, we get news that there's going to be a Boondock Saints number three. So I was super excited about this news. Um, if you are watching this, if you guys are in the chat and you guys have not watched Boondock Saints, you know, you are truly missing out on Cinema Masterpiece. This, to me, at my age, is my citizen kane i boondock saints 2 wasn't as good but still good enough but i did boondock saints number one iconic movie willem dafoe deserves an oscar <laughs> but one of the greatest scenes in all of movies his scene yes before daryl dixon norman reedus was known for boondock saints and that that that's a definite and um ben i'm excited models. about this we got we got Norman Reedus, we got Sean Patrick Flannery coming back. We got Duffy coming back as director. So we have a lot of the same creative team. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Are you excited as well? I'm wondered I'm worried about Duffy. Like he's he's kind of a head case, right? Am I am I wrong about that? Isn't he kind of like one of those guys that you know, mid movie, he's he's gonna figure out any way he can to leave the project type deal. I mean <laughs> I remember back in the day, like so many uh, issues that he had where movies would get canceled this and that and you know but it's kind of cool is 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 Wilm defoe gonna be in it so there and i'll put the link to the article in the chat too so they were trying to get him in there but as of right now his rep said he is not involved they're trying to bring back i almost wish they never killed off rocco the funny man yeah. <laughs> or make it a prequel but uh <laughs> I'm Rocco. I'm the funny man. Yeah. So, and as much as I didn't like the second one as much, I can't complain about Julie Benz being the character in it. Because I mean, especially her. Um, was it season three of Dexter? Right. Oh and, yeah. But uh, Julie Benz is definitely. And <laughs> they always have catchphrases. The only thing I didn't like about the second one is they b basically copied the formula from the first one and, and redid it. Type. Where it wasn't too much enough change to the story to make a difference, but evidently Sean Patrick Flannery and Norman Reedus have been, you know, fighting to keep the third movie alive and trying to get it put together for for a while now. Of course, I know Norman Reedus has been tied up in Walking Dead, but and his uh, his own reality show where he goes riding motorcycles across everywhere, right? Yep, and a video game too, right? Yeah. Yeah, Andy, have you watched Boondock Saints? Oh, how dare you ask me that? Yes, well, I don't absolutely. know. I mean, I've, I I might be in the same shelf as Patsy Cline, or <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> well, you say like uh, Boondock Saints is like your Citizen Kane. I'm right there with you. This is one of those movies that I absolutely fell in love with the way it was done, how gritty it was. The acting was right. I, it's an instant cult classic for me. To the yeah, point like, where. You know, when they go to do the second movie, you know, it's got the second movie really had to be on point. And I, for me, the second movie struggled with writing and uh, the budget, in my opinion. Yeah. Especially when you have a nine year gap between them. And, you know, as soon as you announce it, people are going to be excited for it. So now nine year gap between the first and second one and second one came out in 2009. So we even have a little bit larger gap. But fan <laughs> favorite. It's like if it's a Bruce Campbell movie, I'm going to see it. If it's a Doondock Saints uh, I'm there to see it as well. But. Which has me a little worried because Flannery had that perfect look in the first movie and then the second movie, I'm like, is that that's not him? Like half the movie, I'm like, that's not the same, that's not the same guy, is it? And sure enough it is. So we'll see what's gonna happen eleven years later. Dan. Yeah, I mean what's cool about I guess Boondock Saints is like some guy wrote a script and it got so much heat that, you know. It created this whole crazy world, this fantasy world of a young hotshot, and then flamed out and was like totally overshadowed by the Matrix. And 
and then the sequel happens and it's not as good as you know he was claiming if he had all the control and so it's like a weird third act of watching someone's career in auteur like kind of get famous too young and grapple with that and like watching like what that means so for me that's what i enjoy i don't remember part two at all i saw it i don't remember that movie at all but first one yeah first one's very memorable um it had, I can't think of the, the can't remember the actor's name, but he was like in one eight seven, been in a bunch of other stuff. The um, basically the Rocco guy in the second one, right? Who's the bare knuckle boxer who starts off the movie with his Billy hands Connery? tied behind no. him for five minutes. <laughs> his ca- he needs a catchphrase. <laughs> was it like "Ding dong, bitches"? <laughs> when he when he shoots someone, but I, I don't know. I'm excited. Um, people in the chat what do you guys think about boondot things no matter what though that first movie itself is is, is kind of holds its place in pop culture history yep i mean i won't say rocky horror picture show type but i mean a lot of people it's one of those movies when someone's like boondock saints what's that and then you kind of <laughs> draw back and like you never seen boondock yeah saints. yeah <laughs> that's exactly you, what that movie is you're 100 stupid right. rope yeah i mean it feels like uh you know like citizen kane was um the first film orson welles ever made it feels like a like one of those amazing first films that just like came out of nowhere because the person just didn't know just enough to make this spectacular strange film yeah and yeah. then you got a, a in the first one you got a, a stand a, what is it uh stand-up comedian <laughs> playing playing an assassin right uh what's his name Connolly. yeah billy oh, Connolly. yeah, yeah. Back in he old school comedian. He was back when um, what was uh, the HBO? Yeah, after dark stuff. Yeah, and then, and then the the uh, events with Whoopi Goldberg and yeah. Uh, so. he, he made me relief. think of he made me think of the Saint of Killers when I saw him in that film when he came out. I was like, oh, that's the Saint of Killers. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it's not so much comic book, but it's definitely a place in pop culture, and it's super exciting news. As soon as it went, I saw it spread all over the place. A lot of people on social media are excited about it, but I think also it's one of those things where you hold on to the first one so much, but uh, I don't expect great things from the third, but I'm excited to see it. I, I'm yeah. kind of excited because further down in the article, and I'm not finding it at the moment, but uh, Redis and Flannery are getting some either director or producing credits on this as well, feel, making me feel like they have a much bigger hand in this than they did the second film. Yeah, and they helped write it, I believe. At least Sean Patrick Flannery did. There's no comic book Boondock Saints? That's a great question. That's a great question. I'm not sure. There might not be. There has to be, right? There has to mm-hmm. be. Yeah, it would be one of those. Yeah, those are one, like one of the there easy is. buckets. There is? Yep. Like Boom or something? Uh, boom Early dot Boom. Saints.com. Uh, 12 gauge. 12 okay. gauge comics. Interesting. Ooh. I might have to look in, look into those. Maybe see how, how rare they are to find. Yeah, I've never seen one. Yeah. Pretty awesome covers. First uh, Norman Reedus in comics. <laughs> Some of them look kind of like Matrix covers. It's funny, you know, may- maybe they, may- like you said, Dan, they saw the Matrix coming back and he was probably like, fuck that, bring him back, boom, dot. Yeah. So that's how he sounds, just like that, I'm sure. <laughs>